inspiration actually. Um, and here's what the book looks like. We're the papers of our students who study medicinal aromatherapy with us. And one of the requirements for the certification from Wisdom of the Earth um, is a paper on an essence of their choice. And so what they do is pick an essence, journey with it, research it, wear it, apply it, and really bond with it. And these um, are stories about their experiences, in many cases life-changing, um, through that experience. And so we had felt like we had all this amazing, these amazing accounts and stories from our different students, and they were sitting in our filing cabinets, and we said we really need to share this more widely. And so that was why we wrote the book. There's not many of these kind of books on the market where it really talks about our connection to the earth and to the plants and trees and how using it as for your medicine or using them for raising your vibration really helps you feel better in a world that's really uh, taking so many drugs. You know, so it really uplifts your spirit. Actually, because there's so much interest growing in the U.S. and around the world to come back to the plant and tree kingdom for their medicine, mm -hmm. which is for us the original medicine of the planet. And with that interest in mind, a lot of people are waking up all over and they have been talking to their trees just like they talk to their dogs and cats. They've been talking to their plants for years and they feel like they're the only one. So this is uh, a collaboration, it's a compilation of many students who are actually listening to the plants speak to them and also speaking to them and they use it for their medicine. So by compiling a book like this, this gives an opportunity for many people who otherwise might think they're the only one when there's many of them and it's growing worldwide. So that's the inspiration for the book. And I just wanted to mention that um, you know, each there are 19 chapters in the book. Okay. And what we did was each of us picked six essences, um, and then Barry picked one additional one. Um, and we went through all the student papers on those essences. All right. And what we did was we were looking for really more of the transformational stories rather than the medicinal stories, because there are a lot of books out there on what rosemary does or what peppermint does. And what we wanted to talk about, for example, Laurel Leaf is one, is for courage and is for um, uplifting and helping you be authentic and speak your voice, uh, your true voice. And so we picked 19 out of our, how many? 200. 200. It was very difficult to pick only 19. But we really wanted to share deeply about each one. So there are 19 essences covered in the book. And uh, a lot of people like to put a little bit of the essence over their heart. It's all about transformation, oh, right? right? Really learning to love yourself, really learning to things that have been holding, you've been holding in for so many years, how people using this plant medicine but were able to loosen that up so that they could look at it, they could heal that. So it there's is really... Stories, there's stories in there about abandonment issues. Okay. There's stories in there about uh, childhood abuse where they were sexually abused and how the essences actually spoke to them how to work with this and not necessarily hold on to it for the next 50 years, but they, they could actually work through this and they could forgive, they could be compassionate, and they could grow in their self-love. This is what the essence's power can do. Well, I think you know, Barry mentioned that people who are already talking to their plants, that they find out they're not alone, and I think that's really true. The other thing that I think people will take away is, I'm not crazy, I, I had such a connection to the earth or to a tree. It helps them understand what they were feeling mm -hmm. and, that, and that they are not alone. So for some people it acknowledges it, for other people I think it helps them discover what they've been feeling and how important that has been in their life. And a lot of people talk about their childhood experiences and how they always love roses or always love the big fir trees. And this helped them understand why that stayed with them their whole lives. And so for some people, I think it's a discovery of that deep connection that they've maybe been missing. And I do think that it, it brings you back to the earth.
because so many of us are so disconnected. We live in cities. We're not. We don't have the opportunity to go into nature. So it really helps us come back to it, the nature and life and the earth because we are made of this earth. And you know that connection is. We feel lonely without it. So, yeah. Another another really huge level that's happened is that people have seen the movie Matrix over the years. It's been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. And the younger generations are actually really understanding what the Matrix means. And they are choosing to leave the Matrix and they would like to have something besides drugs, besides pharmaceutical drugs, which is totally different when you take Zoloft or, or anything like that. Yeah. It's a lot different than going out and viewing a lavender field and having lavender on your body. And uh, the single pure essences will not alter your mind so that you can still do your work spiritually and emotionally and affect you in a good way physically versus a pharmaceutical drug that we all are waking up to know how terrible they actually are. And the, the, the side effects isn't even being talked about anymore. They have now changed the labeling from side effects to primary effects. There you can't take a drug, especially psychotropic drugs, uh, for all types of depression and whatever they think they have made this drug for. It's not about healing that, it's about this. And it's about control. And so we are setting precedents as a company offering the plants and trees, which is all about unconditional love, to help in this healing process that's going on at this very present moment on the planet Earth amongst humanity, just for starters. It is on Amazon, so definitely that's a place, and we would love to have people post their, their feelings about the book on Amazon. We also sell it at West Mill the Earth, our office um, outside of Sedona, Arizona, and our website is wisdomoftheearth.com. Uh, and I also sell it at my personal practice in Santa Fe, New Mexico, Shining Sun Aromatherapy.com. And uh, do you have it on your website? Okay, so either, you know. But it's connected to your website. Right. So you can call us, you can email us, and you can order it online through us or through uh, Amazon. And wisdomoftheearth.com. So just go on there and you'll find lots of information about just so much about our, our plant. Yeah, we have a very large educational website, which means also that we have licensed teachers and distributors around the world, and they have access to all of our books, and they can also... And they teach classes, and they're fabulous. And you can buy it online. We actually have this particular book not only online, but you can also buy the e-book. The e-book. E e e e e e e e e